Good morning people, so today I'm trying to get a good start at this uh, engine I'm going building. So what I'm building is a kind of half built 1.9, so I'm doing a ported head on it with a high lift cam, uh, max speed and rod, con rods and bored out pistons. So I have the engine on the stand here and I have it all taped up ready to go. So basically all you do is set two pistons at the top big center. I actually put the lock and pin in as well, just because it's easier. And uh, uh, what we'll do is get the drill. I will just take these out from 36 mil to 42 mil. I think is the size I have. Uh, with a dodgy welded drill bit that's cut, but it works. It's only a step drill bit. So I'll show you that now. So that's all it is. Step drill bit, board a bit out the bottom, cut it in half, and should see it on it there. Uh, if it'll focus for me, I seem to want to do. Yeah, you can just will see a 42 mil. So, brother broke it and dodgily welded it back together. So not exactly fully straight anymore, but it works. Just installing the cotton rods here to the pistons. So I have max speeding rods. They're, I think it was about 340 for the set. Wasn't too bad delivered. So they're kind of cheap and cheerful for the set to work. So I have three of them done. I'll show you how to do the next one now. So basically, zoom in over here. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it, we're on the wrong side. Look for the side with this little divot in it. And then, if you can see there, there's a little clip. There's a little clip there. that one so you need to get that out so all you do is stick the screwdriver in that little hole pry it out and then put your hand over it if you're doing it one hand so you don't lose it as simple as that so then you turn it around and you push the pin that one through then Bit hard with one hand, but like so. And there's your con rod away from your piston. Now to reassemble it, all I've done is put a bit of assembly oil in there and then just slide con rod in there, slide the piston. Or the grudging pin in through, and then the fun part comes putting this clip back in. So, the thing I find handiest is put it just past that little divot, and then inside the aluminium of the piston, then I get my little screwdriver here again. Slide it into the side and then push it down. And that's it. Ready to install. Just a bit more clean. Finish cleaning the pistons there. 
they're not perfect but good enough for me so I'm going to fit in the pistons here I have one fitted already so the thing to look out for is I have these marked 1 to 4 so 1 being time belt side and then 2, 3, 4 so mark them when you're taking them out so they go back in the same cylinders and then I've put an arrow on it just so you can see it easier but there is already an arrow and that's pointing to the time belt side so you have to make sure these are all pointing to the time belt side or when you put your head on and go to crank over your valves will smash your pistons and you'll be fucked first one's there, that's the oil scraper ring then the second one is about there so I'm holding the bottom one with my thumb second one with my index finger and then I can find the last one which would be about there the arrow is facing that way we'll just check our rings again so got one there one there and one there so that's okay so now we'll see if we can set this up somewhere here Sit that down across. It's tight now. And then get a hammer and use the end of it, the wooden end. That's it. So that's three, one. Now we'll do two and four. I don't wanna see you. I don't wanna hear you tonight. I don't wanna fight you. You don't wanna know if I feel right. I don't wanna just forgive you. I just wanna be fine. I'll be waiting for a sign to light up. Yeah. And your heart is out of sight. I just wanna feel mine. See you I don't wanna fear you tonight 
So it's Batman fully finished. Well, apart from the dipstick tube, but so that's the pistons all bored out. As you can see, we have our air P studs in. Head gasket's just sat down on it for now, and sump's on as well. <coughs> so when you're putting on the sump, normally you'd put a bolt through here and tighten it loose up against the uh, bell housing just so that this is all straight but obviously you can't do that when it's up on the stand here so what I do is I just get a straight edge like that and just put it across and make sure it's perfectly flat because if that's not flat when you go to tighten these bolts in you might end up breaking, uh, breaking your sump and that's not good so we got our bung welded in there it doesn't look too pretty but it's, uh, it was extremely old, oily aluminium, which isn't the easiest to weld, but it is sealed, so it's fine. Um, that'll be for the big turbo. This will be for the small turbo then, that's the second drain. Um, you need a quite a big drain for a whole set turbo, so that's why. So I just need to drill these out then to 10 mil both sides for my custom mounts. And other than that, I just waiting on the head to come back. Once the head comes back, I'm putting injectors in, valves in, valve springs. We got new valve springs. Uh, Debilius, Debilis or Debilius Dynamics, I think they're called. Uh, same brand as the cam, and. Uh, they're just stiffer, dual valve springs stiffer. So she should be well able to rev and take the boost. I also have the lock and pin in for the crank. Just to make sure we have it locked with cylinder one at top dead center rather than cylinder two and cylinder three at top dead center. Otherwise, it will be 180 degrees out and we'll be in much trouble. Mm -hmm. 